Drew Teeth is by the 50 Boss Terminus. Um, that's where you enter Walker's Eve Park. Swansea's Park is just behind by Billsley Fire Station. And Burberry Park is on Wheeler Street, Newtown. Um, so, you know, the vision is with the eight weeks, we do five weeks of football. So every Friday for five weeks, one hour, turn up and play, pay a pound. My coach, Chris, is internationally experienced. He's coached in America. He's got in France, now he's here in the UK. Um, he's working towards his UEFA B licence. So that's that's a very world-recognised uh, football qualification. Um, and um, we'll have, after the five weeks cohort, we'll then go into a workshop. So we'll have a venue. Um, the, the players come to the venue every day. Sorry, one day a week for three weeks. And that's where Audria... Um, is relied upon to deliver her award-winning life coaching workshop. So here we'll be focusing on, um, you know, mind mind mapping, um, journaling, um, managing your money, maximising your income, um, seeing if you need any support with private lettings because at, at the moment here in the UK there is a housing crisis. So big families are being catered for, but somebody that, that needs like a one-bed or a two-bed possibly – um, has a like two to three year waiting list to get one of the low call authority. So private letting is big boom now. It's a big booming market. Um, so if people can afford to pay the deposit to to move into a private letting, then Gold River can support them to access that housing stream and then you know settle down, you know maintain their tenancy and just just keep that roof over their head. Um, so. After the actual eight weeks, we then give another um, four weeks of um, support. So that might be with training and education. It might be with the one advice on uh, more debt advice or it could be anything. You know, we support these people as much as we possibly can. So that's what we're doing um, the 12-week cohort. Yeah, and that, that, is, that is really powerful um, to, to be able to help and to be able to give people um because housing that's that's a that's a main need that's a need that everybody has and that's a need that if you're if you don't have that obviously you're homeless but that's yeah. that's something that is a is a need food shelter um those are the two main needs that you need you know uh, and i'm sorry what are you gonna say Yeah, definitely. Um, so we have Cornell Fox on the show. If you guys have any questions for Cornell, put that in the chat room. Has a company called Gold Driven, um, and put the website there in the chat room. Any questions that you guys may have, put those in there. You can also email him uh, the email address. He also share it out on the show. I'll have him do that again towards the end as well. But what are your Favorite sports teams. This being a sports show, got to ask you that question. What are your favorite sports teams? Uh, what teams do you follow on your day to day? In um, rugby, I'd say it is um, the Saracens. In basketball, I'd say it's the um, Steelers. No, that's that's American football, yeah. Steelers. Yeah, right, right. Steelers. Am I right? Yep, Steelers, uh, yep, American football, NFL. Yeah, sorry, American football, the Steelers, NFL, um, NBA, um, Charlotte Hornets, um, soccer, Liverpool and England, um, cricket, Sri Lanka and England, um, snooker, um, I like the player called, uh, I used to like Alex Higgins, that's way back in the day. But um, now I'd say it's Trump. There's a player called Trump. He's very good. Um, he won his last competition. He done very well. So snooker. Um, and um, martial arts, I'd say um, Clifton Finley. Retired, but now on the circuit with Iska as a director, promoting um, the kickboxing, competitive kickboxing um, across England and the world. Um yeah, I've got quite a few sports that I can name, um, but those are the first that spring to mind. Definitely. And 
Uh, explain if you can, uh, Shrinka, or how do you? What is that? Because that's actually my first time hearing about that particular sport. But uh, explain that to to the listeners. Well, snooker. Snooker. Excuse me. Yeah, snooker. So um, there's colors on the table. So you have got green, brown, and yellow. You've got blue, pink, and black. But there's a certain amount of red balls on the table, which you must clear before you can go and um, clean up the table with the colours. So, basically, you've got a 12-foot snooker table, um, and it's a professional table when it's a 12-foot table. Um, Usually, in the house or in, like, wine bars or clubs, it's a 6-foot table. Um, So... You pot a red ball, so you sink a red ball, and then you nominate a colour, any colour. But if you don't strike that colour, then it is a foul. Um, so basically, you pot red, colour, red, colour, red, colour, any colour you want. And the aim is to score as much points on the board as possible. So the black ball is worth seven points. The pink ball is worth six points. The blue ball is worth five points. Um, the green ball... Is is um three points? Am I right? Four? Wait there. Sorry. Blue ball four. Blue ball five. Green ball. Ooh. Must be four. Brown ball three. Yellow ball two. Um. So the top break you can get in a in a game of snooker is um 147. That's if you've gone to the table, you've parted every ball. But all the balls that you sink out, the colours are black. So if you hit all those reds and you focus on the black ball all that time, you'll get a top break of 147, which there is a prize for. So when you're in competition and you break and you and you break um, 147, um, you can win um, a, a big prize. Could be 10,000, 100,000. Depends on um, the sponsor of the tournament. Um, so yeah. Awesome. Well, I mean, I appreciate that lesson. Um, like I said, that that's a sport that I wasn't familiar with, so I'll definitely be doing some more research on that myself. Uh, we have Cornell yeah. Fox of Gold Driven on the line, and I'm sorry, what were you going to say? I'm just happy to be talking with you, Ben, and, you know, under the water, you know, over the sea. Um, you know, there's many great people doing um, things in the community, um, heard of or non heard of, um, but this is definitely for the community, you know. And you know, we could branch out to you know poorer communities in South America, maybe or on, on the continent, you know, as we're growing. You know, people that are skilled in sports or have experience in education, um, applying for funding, you know, anyone that has any design ideas, you know, just get in touch with me if you're willing to volunteer your ideas and a bit of your time, it will be much appreciated, you know, and I will advertise your business on my website just to confirm that we've worked in a partnership with each other. Yeah, and so definitely reach out to Cornell. Um, I'm going to put his email in the chat room as well so that you guys have that. Um, And I appreciate you so much uh, for coming on, for reaching out. Was there anything else that you wanted to share or that you had in mind to uh, talk about on today's show? Oh, I've said my thank yous, um, and yeah, long let it live. You know, we, we run a mission, and the mission is just to unify people and um, spread equality and social inclusion, you know, in every community that we embrace. So um, that's all I'm going to add, and that is a positive affirmation on my behalf. And just focus on your dreams and your realities. Um, you know, tick them off as you're going along. People have bucket lists for ex- luxuries and exotic holidays, big cars, but keep your simple. It might be, you know, so you can legally drive your car. It might be you want to redecorate your home. It might be, you know, you, you want to give up smoking. You now, keep it realistic, but, you know, tick it off as you're going along. Everyone's bucket list doesn't have to have, like, you know, a luxury holiday on it or whatever. Just start small, keep it realistic, and you'll get there. That's what I'm saying to the people who are listening. You know, whether you're in prison or you're in hospital or you're in a residential hostel or, you know, you've heard this on online, you know, you, you know, someone can help you out there. So I hope that people listening to my show here in America or, and wherever it's listened to can actually offer a helping hand to, you know, 
the same people who need the help, if you know what I mean. So I'm glad I've been online on, on this podcast and hopefully people have listened and are, are willing to help the cause as well. Definitely. And, you know, to add on to what you said, it is a, you know, it, it is a journey. It's not a race. Uh, it, it, there's time that you're going to have ups and downs. Also, there the, the new kind of trend is uh, vision boarding, where people put up on their board what they want to see, what they want to do. And as you continue to walk past that, as you continue to see that every day, that gives yeah. you memory, a kind of a muscle memory, and it also gives you encouragement for what you want to see and for what you want to happen. And that's right in to line work, with to what you said. It, to walk towards it. And the mindset is a daily, um, you know, daily affirmation of what you see on your vision board is what you want to achieve. Am I right? Right. 100%. 100%. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, thank you again for coming on. Um, everybody out there, you have the website, you have the email. Uh, make sure to go to the website, give something, donations, help, and uh, what. Uh, peoples uh, are trying to accomplish so goal driven is the company cornell fox is the owner of the company i want to thank you for coming on and you have a good rest of your day uh and what time is it there was is it what 6 45 probably now right or about 6 45 yeah, yeah 6 45 p.m yeah you're right what time is it there in the states uh, yeah 12 12 so yeah we're about six hours difference uh-huh. Yeah, good afternoon, America. <laughs> All right. Well, Cornell, thank you so much for coming on the show, and you have a good rest of your day. Okay. And you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That was Cornell Fox. He, like I said, owner of the company, Goal Driven. You can visit the website. Uh, and this this guy really has something I think special going on. Uh, the website, it says the education sports enterprise. So using sports as an avenue to help people reach their goals in different avenues and areas. Uh, Cornell Fox, the director, has a football background. When we say football, uh, meaning soccer. And also he has partners in the company. We talked about this earlier. Just wanted to touch on that. Uh, Cairo Brooks, also Marcus, who, and Aldrea Josephs. Those are a couple of the people that work with him. They're in the UK, but they're looking to expand this. They're looking to grow, looking to help people reach their goals uh, all over the world. So huge shout out to him coming on the show. Go to the website, check it out. Uh, appreciate H Rap B coming in the building. Mo Cheese coming in the building as well. Uh, great point, Mo Cheese. We need to set up a link folder for guest emails. I agree with that 100%. Because I'm going to ask him to come on the show again. Because he's got so many things going on. I would love to get him back on the show, be able to talk to him about what's new with Goal Driven. So we're going to take a break. You're tuned into a special edition of the BS3 Sports Show. Coming up next on X Squad Radio, we have none other than A Trap B into the bench. The 606 King is the new part of his name on his Avi. But it'll be coming on next on the network. But we're going to take a break. And when we get back, we'll talk about some MMA and some other news from today. And yesterday. So we'll be right back. We all hate when we have unexpected car problems. Well, I'm here to tell you about a viable solution. Bay 11 Auto. And my man, Melvin. You have emission problems? Brakes need changing? Transmission slipping? Is your car just driving sluggish? No problem is too big. I live on the other side of town and I drive over an hour to a guy that I trust. Melvin is honest, dependable, and definitely not in the business to break your pockets. Come see the official mechanic, Melvin, at Bay 11 Auto. You will be glad you did. 
you can reach him at 1455 General Arts Road, Conyers, Georgia, or 404.